Hi, we are team Roverex and all undergraduate student team with 19 members based in VIT University Vellore. This is the second time we are participating in European Rover Challenge and have used the experience gained from the previous edition for designing our rover and preparing our team for the competition this year. Designing a rover involves skills from various different disciplines and has provided us with an opportunity to work at a project which could be used for real world applications. It was considered that we are a single tire rover that comes with interplanetary exploration, but through its mass orbital mission, proved to the world that we Indians, despite of our lack of experience, can still build projects of such great magnitude. This sparked the idea of building a rover for an event as prestigious as we are seeing. After spending countless sleepless nights, we have been successful in turning our desires into reality and we are now glad to present you with Enigma Mark 2.0. The mechanical team consists of three subsections, namely the chassis, the suspension, and the robotic arm. We have used a space frame chassis, which basically consists of plates to support the rover structure. We have used V-slotted aluminium as a structural component. A novel feature of our chassis is that we haven't used a single weldment. Instead, the structural components are connected together using aluminium plane cells. Our suspension is simple, robust, and extremely effective. The suspension consists of rock. This year's electrical systems have been designed, keeping in mind aesthetics, and power is derived from 12.6 volt 8000 mA litros, which is given to 6 high power DC motors. And another 22 volts Nico has been used for the robotic arm and other onboard electronics. The ro our rover is controlled using a beagle cone and an Arduino, as well as the control station. The, the commands to the motor demo are given through the Arduino. The Arduino is connected to the bigger phone and the bigger phone is on the network through a network switch which is connected to the TP-Link 2.4 GHz router. The 2.4 GHz router is TP-Link 2.4 GHz router is on the base station also which establishes a network between the rover and the base station. The uh, rover is controlled using a standard Xbox controller on the base station. For the navigation task will be using OpenCV and Raspberry Pi. Once the artificial landmarks are disclosed, we'll use feature extraction to match them to the rover's image. We'll make a bounding box across the object when we find it. We'll use optical character recognition to make mark the alphanumeric characters on the image and count the number of colored pixels and match the pixels to get the color. The management and marketing division has helped in smooth functioning of team by making regular purchases and a range of funding for the means of sponsoring. We are extremely thankful to our sponsors Reliance Industries Private Limited and Vigyan Science Foundation for trusting and supporting to us in all our endeavors. There are four main topics in the security team. This happened to be the cases to shut down the system in case a really loud attack. This is to prevent rover voltage and electrical surges from harming the system. An IMB is used in order to collect the details of regarding the orientation to prevent toppling. We are using optical coupling for speed measurement and control. 